Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy King David is fit and we are back with another video today I've got three new recipes for y'all that you need to try We all know chicken and rice is a staple in the bodybuilding world or just the fitness world It's packed with a lot of protein carbs and necessary fats that you need Here's my spin on things and I want to do three non-traditional chicken and rice recipes that are going to be high in protein, low in calories, and delicious just for you. Before we jump right into the recipes, we got to go get our items. Let's go to Walmart. We are in the kitchen right now. We just got back from Walmart, got the rest of our supplies, and I'm excited for the first recipe. We'll be making our chicken broccoli rice casserole. Wait, 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 wait. I'm interrupting your regular scheduled program to bring you a man sports ad. Y'all know supplements are an easy way to help you increase your results and to help you lose weight. Supplements like creatine and multivitamins are something you should take every single day. And my personal favorite is aminos that makes your water taste good and can help with recovery. Supplements are an easy way to help boost your results as well as help you recover and build more strength leading to building more muscle or getting more toned in the gym. So go ahead and check out mansports.com and get your supplements and use code KING for 20% off. Now back to the video. Let me be honest with y'all, I'm not a chef. I'm gonna be making it the easiest and simplest way possible so y'all can follow along and let's get fit together. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and prep our chicken. It's gonna take the longest to cook. So we're gonna season this and toss it in the air fryer. So first off, we're cutting out a lot of the fat from the chicken thighs. Then we're gonna go ahead and dice it up into small cubes. To season the chicken, we're using garlic parmesan seasoning. It's actually really good. Then we're gonna mix everything up and toss it in the air fryer. Air fry at 400 Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. Then after that, we're gonna soak this in water, get it all thawed out. For my rice, I'm using 2.5 cups of uncooked rice. Use whatever measurements you want for your macros. Please, for the love of God, rinse your rice. All this white is starch. You need to get that out of there. It needs to be somewhat clear before you start cooking your rice. I've got a rice cooker, so that's gonna save me a lot of time. If you don't have a rice cooker or air fryer, you need one. There are absolute cheat codes. And if you're in the market for any of my kitchen appliances, use the link in the description below. It'll take you to my Amazon store and you can get my exact kitchen appliances. Preheat your oven at 375 Fahrenheit. We've got our rice pretty much done. And I know some people like to put the chicken broth while the rice is cooking. I like to add it a little bit into there after, just so it gets that flavor. And then I can toss this in the oven. Here I'm adding about a cup of chicken stock. Make sure to spread it all around and mix it. At this point, I'm just adding everything all together, the broccoli, the sauce. Now don't call me lazy, but I am lazy, so I'm not gonna make this sauce from scratch. This sauce is actually really good, and it's the light version, so it saves you calories. This is another cheat code, fat-free cheese. It's like adding straight protein into this casserole. And I'm seasoning it with garlic parmesan again, adding a little bit of Fairlife non-fat milk. Not a lot, just a little bit. Then you make it look all nice and pretty and get it ready for the oven. I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese on top just so it has that nice crust and then bake. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared here. I've been burnt too many times to not be scared when putting something in the oven. About 20 minutes later, I took it out the oven and it looks amazing. Look at that. I know there's a little bit of brown spots because I broiled it at the end, but it's still really, 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 really good. Look at that. It's so delicious. Hi right, y'all, so we're done with the chicken broccoli casserole. Now it's time for the rice and chicken teriyaki with a little bit of broccoli tossed on the side. 
Now this is the easiest recipe on this video so far because we've pretty much made everything. The rice is cooked, the teriyaki chicken is gonna be cooked in the air fryer, so it's as simple as that. And the broccoli we can just add to the side. Right now I marinated my chicken thighs in G Hughes teriyaki marinade. You need to go get this, it's at Walmart. Now we're cutting it up into tiny pieces, make it look good and presentable. Guys, I know you want to taste it, but try your hardest not to lick your screen. All right, y'all, we're back for the third and final recipe. My personal favorite, the chicken fried rice. I love Chinese food. This is a great way to make it healthy and tasty so you can eat it every single day and still lose fat and build muscle. Over here, I'm seasoning my chicken. It's a mixture of Cajun, garlic, onion powder. It's just my little seasoning. So we've got our chicken already pre-made. We're gonna cut it up into a couple pieces and get on with the recipe. I know some of y'all will ask me how long I air fried it. It just depends, about 10 to 12 minutes. Here's my favorite part. I'm spraying the zero calorie spray and adding the veggies and I'm just whisking it, making sure everything is good. I seasoned with onion powder and garlic powder. We're mixing everything, added the soy sauce, not a lot, just a little bit. And then if y'all ask me what the measurements are, I don't know. I'll give you a rough estimate. I like to cook based on looking at it so I can just kind of tell, but it looks good though. We're mixing everything together, um, adding four eggs. I did use four eggs and about 50 grams of egg whites. Adding sriracha is optional, but it makes it taste better. I'll try to remember I am not a chef, but Chef Gordon Ramsay would be proud. I right, y'all, here you have it. We have three amazing recipes, and my personal favorite has to be the chicken fried rice. I love Chinese food, and I love to make a healthy spin on things. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Definitely give it a try. If you try it out and make it, make sure to tag me on all social media. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Eating this every single day is going to make you swole, I promise. Eating this every single day is gonna make you fit, I promise. Give it a try. The creaminess, the creaminess, the juiciness, the taste. What did he say? Immaculate. Y'all need to try this.